For practice it, exercise 1.14 lanterns, we are asked to write a complete Java program on a class named lanterns that generates the following three figures of output. We need to use static methods to show structure and eliminate redundancy in our solution. So to do this, we need to first write our class. It's going to be a public class and it's called lanterns. We have a starting brace and then a closing brace. In here, we need a main method to actually run everything. It's going to be public static void main and we will have string args like this. This is just a super basic syntax. Now we have our first method. And our first method, we'll, we'll actually make a couple different methods in here. The first method is just going to be focused on this row of stars. And we can call this five since there's five stars in this row. We will write our method right here. It'll be public static void five. And in here we will have a sysout statement. And in our sysout statement, we will just print out this row right here. So we can copy this row and paste it into our code. and end that line like that. We can actually do the same thing for this right here. And we can title it public static void. And this one looks like it has nine. So we'll call this nine. And in here, we will just have a sysout with our code in here and we can just copy this output into here like this and close this line like that. Now we can write our nine method in here. That way it looks exactly like the output so far. Next we have this row. So to do this it looks like there are 13 stars in here. So we can call this public static void 13 and write our method in here. We'll have a system.out.println and then in here we will have our output like that. And then we can close this method. And then we can write our method call in our main method 13. After we do this, we're going to have a space. So we'll do um, system. Well, actually, it says that in particular, make sure our main contains no system.out.println's, oh, except for blanks. So we are actually allowed to have this in here. So we'll have a system.out.println like this for spacing. And then we are going to call our five method again. We are going to call our nine method here and then our 13 method right there. We see that we actually have some new code, this right here, so we can make a method for this. We can call it two, since there's only two stars. It'll be public static void two, and that is the header for our method. In here, we will have a system.out.println and write the code or the output that we were given in here like that. We can close this method and now we can call it. After our 13, we'll have our two method and then we call our 13 method again, right behind it. We then call our five method and then our nine method and then our 13 method. After we do this, we have another space. So we are just going to have a system dot out dot print ln for the space. And make sure we spell everything correctly. And then after this, we have our first two done. 
And now in our third section, we are going to have the five call and then the nine call. This is spelling correctly, so we change that. And then we will have the 13 call. After this, we are going to have the five call once again. And then we are going to have our two call, another two call, and then a five call followed, followed by another five call. So this output is created with these methods after we type the code in just here. It's important to use methods because if we had to type all of this out every single time instead of just using these method calls, our code would be super long and prone to a lot of errors. So if we submit it, there is an error and we cannot find the symbol lanterns. That is because I spelled it incorrectly. And if we spell it correctly and then submit it, we can see that we passed all of the test. So our methods that we wrote down here and then called inner main method work flawlessly.